right, so we got another quick unboxing. I put together a charge and a ride. We won't ride it today, but we'll ride it tomorrow. It's the Rover on Coulter Luxury uh, Scooter. The unique thing about this, this comes from one of the best uh, scooter companies on the planet, Doltron. So, this is one of the brands they carry, and I'm pretty excited about this. And you'll know more uh, as I unbox it and, and, and talk to you about it. Anyway, uh, very nice thing about this is you'll get a call from the company saying, hey, we're shipping it. And uh, it's a really nice thing for them to deal with. They'll, they'll call you, they'll say, hey, this is shipping today. That way you know it's on the way. Very cool. All right. I'm not gonna do a, there shouldn't be too much to this, but so I'm not gonna give a whole big explanation uh, as to what we gotta do here, but it shouldn't be much. Foam that we can recycle in Oregon, that's nice. Yeah, so I got a text from, or I mean got a, a call from um, Cooper at um, Mini Moto, Mini Motors uh, in California and said, hey, I'm shipping it out right now. So that's great. Uh, here's the charger, some other stuff. I think that's a tool. No, there's the tool, remote control. And then uh, I think this is the spring lock mechanism. I'm gonna jump it out of the box real quick and show you. Anyway, real quick, this scooter here, once you see it, I'll tell you about the pricing and all that other good stuff about this scooter. Holy cow, it does feel really good. Wow. About 75 pounds. Got the kickstand down. Nothing else in the box. That's the great thing about scooters, man. There's nothing to put them together for the most part. Uh, we'll take this rubber band off. This will go up. These folding handlebars just come up, snap into place. Very nice. That's very good quality. It looks great, guys, just so you know. Um, the one thing I don't see. is a key. That's all, that's the only thing. It comes in four colors, and I got one in white. It comes in a, like a sky blue, or a Caribbean ocean blue, very pretty. Comes in a lime green, almost wanted that one, uh, and it comes in black. But I figured, with all the detail that happens on with the lighting and stuff, I wanted to get the white one. There it is, it's on. I haven't done anything, that's, I just turned it on, guys. And that's what it looks like. I'm gonna show you something really cool. So like a very expensive uh, sports car, it's on this side, and it's on this side. Uh, we got to charge it up. The only negative I could see on this uh, scooter was the uh, power pack to charge it up is only 1.75 amps. And you say, well, that's 2 amps. You know, a lot of bikes come 2 amps. Look at that change. Look how cool that is. And that's true. A lot do come with 2 amp chargers. 1.75 ain't so small. But this battery... It's 31 and a half amp battery. So that's gonna take, you know, a good day to charge, a good half a day to charge. Um, you can get a, a uh, fast charger for it. And I think it's five amp fast charger. So I think uh, with five amp fast charger, you can get this down to about six hours. I think the fast charger is 150 bucks or something like that. Um, but I have several scooters. This is the one uh, is, uh, just phenomenal and if i wrote it so much that uh i could only ride it every other day so be it but 31 and 31 and a half amps 60 volts uh that's a long way and i don't see myself going that far 
that I'm going to need to um, to worry about how much it's charged. Yep, that is a beautiful, beautiful scooter. Now I'm going to jump on it real quick, and then I'm going to charge it up, and we'll get back to this. Uh, tomorrow we're supposed to be 52 to 54 degrees. So if it's truly that, then I'm going to probably ride it tomorrow. This is a $2,750 scooter. And at the time, you were getting $750 off. So that makes it a $2,000 scooter. This scooter is well worth $2,000 as long as, and this is a 45, 47 mile an hour scooter. As beautiful as it is and everything, it's $9.99. So uh, very inexpensive. They're not getting rid of them. There's, they said that this scooter is uh, well stocked. They love the scooter. Uh, it's got mini moto uh, motors on it. Um, very high end. This is a high end bike or uh, scooter, guys. This is not a, a, a typical thousand dollar scooter. That's a deal, man. All right, we'll get to riding it tomorrow. We'll talk some more. All right. We are going to get out on the uh, Roveron Culture Luxury uh, scooter. Let's get it going and see how it goes. Woo, she's jumpy. Oh, yeah. So, tell you something I didn't know. Uh, my other scooters are square wave. I mean, sine wave. This thing is definitely square wave. And we're going to reduce the power. Oh, God dang. She is definitely powerful. And I think I'm going to change it to eco mode. There we go. That's better. There we go. Yeah. PS1. About eight. I don't know what PS2 is going to be. Let's see. PS2. Oh my god, oh, I'm doing the wrong thing, guys. Sorry. No, I'm not. PS2 is pretty spicy. Hey, pretty spicy. So I'm not going to leave the neighborhood yet until I get used to it. So let's turn this way. PAS2 or P Power 2. Uh. I'm in dual motor, power two. Yeah, she's got some get, get to her. 
I don't know how much get to her she's got, but there we go in P, P2, I'm doing a 18. Again, I don't know if that's miles or kilometers. Feels like miles an hour. I would say it's miles an hour. So 18, P2, is uh, 18. Let's go to back to P1 here. P1. I'm gonna hop off and look again. Make sure I'm in miles per hour. Yep, this is miles an hour. So there is definitely a difference in a square wave and a sine wave <laughs> controller. So this is a square wave controller, just like all uh, Doltron, uh, Doltron, 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 and uh, very, very uh, torquey off the beginning. Right off the bat, it's torquey. So P P1 goes eight miles an hour in single motor. Now we'll move to double motor, dual motor. No, this is this is single here. I can feel a difference. Eight miles an hour in single, and eight miles an hour in dual. Now this is straight out of the box, guys. I did not make any changes to the to the motor uh, power going to the motor. Uh, this is supposed to be a 45 mile an hour scooter, and uh, I guess I can believe it. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, because I'm not good on them yet, I don't know which is which for, yeah, that's dual motor. All right, now we're going to switch back to single motor. And now we're going to go single motor, P P3, this is out of the box, guys. Single motor P3. Smooth once she's going. She is very smooth. And she is still picking up speed. And she is doing 22 and about a half. 24 right now. Sorry. 24. 24 miles an hour. That was pretty quick. All right. I heard one of the cameras. So let's take a look. Still going, still going. All right, so now we're gonna hit dual motor and we're gonna go P1 again. <laughs> she, she, is, she is a jumpy little critter. All right, P1, dual motor. Is it eight? Two, P2, wow, she's got a lot more humph to her right there. P2 is 18, but you can feel the dual motor kick in. And P3, it's 26 and a half, 26 and a half. So I'm 200 and 65 pounds i'm at this thing's limit and let me tell you she feels quick very quick um for my riding and my age i probably will not uh change that power except for maybe a test um i think it's fast enough for me probably fast enough for the boss which is the the wife uh when she rides it and uh yeah pretty cool it's a beautiful scooter though holy cow i'm telling you uh this is a scooter that retails was retailing for 2750 uh and then they reduced it to 1999 and then uh there's not many of them out there's not many reviews of them out and then they uh reduced it to 999 and at $9.99, this is probably the best scooter on the market for under a thousand bucks. There's no probably. It is the best scooter on the market for a thousand bucks. It's a uh, Minimoto's USA. 
Um, Mini Motors uh, is the uh, U.S. seller of the uh, Doltron uh, Super, what do you call them, Hyper Scooters. And uh, this is just one of the, I think, four brands they sell. And uh, man, I'm just proud to own this thing. It's so pretty. Uh, and uh, they come in four colors. They come in white, blue, uh, green, and black. And uh, the green and blue are just really pretty. The green was my top choice, but I figured if I was going to get just one, <laughs> I'll take the white because it goes with so many other things. And it, it just looks like a, a, a really nice ride. And by the way, the paint on this is definitely auto grade paint it's uh it feels very thick the paint feels thick it feels smooth and i'm going to try the front brakes for the first time right there and i didn't change anything out of it see you got to watch these uh leaves i didn't change anything out of the box because uh i don't know where the brakes are in terms of uh on or off because it does have regen braking and I can tell you I think it's off because I'm squeezing the brake and there's nothing happening. Uh, definitely a very, very nice scooter. Um, yeah, let me show you something too. Oh, I guess I got a light on. No, that was the brake breaking. Yeah, you hit the brake, look at that. Can you guys see that? And we got brakes on the back. We got lights on the back too. Um, but this uh it's just beautiful and uh out here you got the name plates going everything's looking real good uh nice scooter man a thousand dollars what a steal i'm telling you uh get yourself one of these if you're not afraid of uh of uh having to have a little bit of balance i'm 66 and 265 um don't have my knee brace, knee, knee pads, elbow, or wrist pads yet. That's one of the reasons, not the only reason, but one of the reasons I'm taking it easy. But uh, those come in after Christmas from my children and looking forward to those. But I'm still not going to go fast. Uh, pros and cons on the scooter. Uh, let me give you a couple of the cons. Um, it's not really a fat tire off-road uh, scooter, although it does go off-road some it's definitely dual motor uh the packaging doesn't really say how powerful it is i've heard all the way up to 4,000 watts 3,000 watts um it, it, but in the manual it says 600 watts i think per motor so this might be tw just 1200 watts but it's a very powerful 1200 watts if that's what it is uh, i did copy the brochure and put it in the video you can see that uh, haven't tested the headlight outside at night uh, but you saw the images i took it is a really really nice ride the only thing you got to do out of box basically there's a screw a pin uh and a a, a spring you got to put this you have to put this together with some red Loctite and put it in, and that's it. Everything out of the box is great. There's a few things um, that I would say negative on it. Um, the way the grommet comes through the top for the wiring, that would be nice if it was uh, put on the side instead. A little bit nitpicky, but it's sealed nice. It just you would hope that that would come from the side. The uh, charging block is only 1.75 amps, uh, and it has two ports for them, so you could use 3.7, uh, 3.5 if you had two blocks, but they only send you one charging block. They also have a quick charger for it, uh, which is 5 amps, but with just the one 1 1.75 and the 31.5 amp battery, this beast takes 18 hours to uh, charge it up um, so two would be nice um, that would reduce it down to nine um, but yeah that's just the way it is but with 31 and a half amps uh, you get some distance so from someone who doesn't have a ton of scooter experience I just want to say it doesn't have a key um, 
And that's okay, because I don't leave things unattended. And if someone's going to take it from me, they're going to take it from me at gunpoint or knife point, or I fall off it and get knocked out and someone picks it up and runs away. That's the only way they're going to get it. Um, other than that, those are the only things. Uh, being the tires are 10 inch instead of 11 inch or whatever, <clears throat> that's what I'm used to. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm not riding fast and over big old potholes or anything like that. So I'm not real concerned with it. Now it also has a stem lock. So when you lower it, it can lock into that back kick plate. Um, and it's also got a little hook, so you could use um, hanging some bags and stuff like that. So um, kind of nice, and it closes up and kind of covers the hook and kind of protects the bag from coming off. Um, yeah, I don't have mirrors on it yet. It's got plugs in the, in the grips, so uh, I'll put some mirrors on that. But under $1,000, man, this is a 10 out of 10 scooter. Um, coming from $27.50 uh, and then down to $9.99 is a bargain on this scooter. Yeah, it's a good deal. I don't know how long they're going to have them. Um, he told me that uh, they have plenty in stock. They're not, they're not closing them out and that they, uh, are, they also have plenty of parts supply for them. Um, this is a popular scooter in Europe. I have seen it in France. And so, yeah, I know it's good for that. But uh, it's not as popular here. But it's got the Mini Moto motors. Just a nice scooter. So, <clears throat> if you're in the market for a scooter under 1000 this is really probably the one I'd get. I haven't seen anything that is uh, made as well uh, and comparable at that price. Nothing. Yeah, the everything on it, the quality is super nice. And um, yeah, so let's get on it and go for another ride. So being that you can only see me from the front now, not the camera, I'm talking, I'm, I'm voicing over. Um, just setting it up to ride. Yeah, so the battery has 65.8 uh, volts, so it's still good, 100%. And I've only ridden it about a mile here so far, so. And I'm just saying you can tell I'm brand new at it. And... Uh, just so you know, I don't know if I said it uh, on the other portion, the uh, stem height is very, very good. Um, it's non-adjustable, so it can't be raised up or, or lowered. But for someone that's 5'10", 5'11", that's a great height. I'm not overreaching down, and the handle does come backwards. That stem kind of points towards you a little bit. And for my height, it's great. Yeah, and uh, I know this thing goes um, nine, um, it goes 46 miles an hour because I saw another review. There's only two U.S. reviews on it, and uh, one of them had it going 44 and one had it going 46. So I know for a fact it goes over 40. Not that that's what I'm going to do. No way. Yeah, so if you're in the market for a scooter, reach out to minimotorsusa.com and uh, pick one of these up. I'm telling you, it's one of the best prices on their website and uh, one of the best scooters they have for that price, for sure. I did see another video where they said uh, the Doltron um, Popular is also a inexpensive scooter and uh, I did watch that video. Um, it's from Freshly Charged um, YouTube channel. And they said that scooter was $11.99 or $11.95 to $13.95, depending upon the battery size. Well, guess what? This is not a Doltron. This is a Roveron, but it's certainly prettier and uh, seems to be just as fast, actually faster 
um, has very nice suspension and it's hundreds less with a battery that is 31.5 amps LG cells yeah so there you go so uh, if you're looking for a scooter um, and you don't remember the name it's mini motos usa.com uh, reach out to them at least tell them i sent you i i'm i don't have an affiliate label or anything like that uh this is just a video because uh, i like the scooter all right guys thanks for joining me and we'll catch you again